Oh, it's, hi, it's me, Dick Jr. again. Uh, I pause at the beginning. Sometimes it starts and stops. So, Anyways, uh, I have come to you today to read Matthew chapter 11. Um, I'm going to make five references from here. There are many more. I just don't have time to do everything all at once. And I'm, I'm just reading the Bible really right now. I'm not teaching per se. I just want to get the whole Bible on video. So someone can listen to it at least. But I am going to take some of the references. So I'm going to go to Malachi chapter 4 verse 5. I'm going to go to Psalms chapter 19 verse 7. I'm going to go to Luke chapter 10 verse 21. I'm going to go to Jeremiah chapter 6 verse 16. And I'm going to go to 1 John uh, chapter 5, verse 3. So there should be five references here. You can rewind it and write it down if you'd like to and look them up. And then uh, come back and meet with me in a minute. Um, all right, then I'm going to go ahead and I've prayed ahead of time to ask God to help me read this to you and to, to relay the messages that he has for you from me. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and read an O and uh I'm drinking my IBC root beer here. Disclaimer if I belch, I'm sorry. I love root beer. And I love IBC root beer. Pretty much that's all I drink root beer wise because IBC root beer is made with pure cane sugar, no high fructose corn syrup. That's just me. I don't do high fructose corn syrup if I can help it. So, all right, we're going to start uh, in. Verse 1 here, when Jesus had finished giving instructions to his 12 disciples, he departed from there to teach and preach in their cities. Now when John, while in prison, heard of the works of Christ, he sent word by his disciples and said to him, Are you the expected one, or shall we look for someone else? Jesus answered and said to them, Go and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, and the lame walk. The lepers are cleansed. The deaf hear. The dead are raised up, and the poor have the gospel preached to them. Isaiah 35, 5 is the reference they give for that there. Um, and blessed is he who does not take offense at me. Uh, as these men were going away, Jesus began to speak to the crowds about John. What did you go out into the wilderness to see? A reed shaken by the wind? What did you go out to see? A man dressed in soft clothing? Those who wear soft clothing are kings in palaces. But what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and one who is more than a prophet. This is the one about whom it is written. Behold, I send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. And that's Malachi chapter 3, verse 1. Uh, I didn't take the reference, but it's worth a read. Truly I say to you, among those born of women, there has not risen uh, anyone greater than John the Baptist, yet the one who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven suffers violence, and violent men take it by force. For all the prophets and the laws prophesied until John. And if you are willing to accept it, John himself is Elijah who was to come. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take one of our references to Malachi uh, chapter 4, verse 5, where it says, uh, John himself is Elijah who was was to come. This is the words of Jesus. Not John is Elijah who is to come. John is Elijah who was to come, which means that, that Elijah already did come. If you follow my logic, is was is a past tense. Okay. So, uh, anyway, Malachi chapter 4, verse 5. Handy dandy sticky notes. Behold, I'm going to send you Elijah the prophet before the coming of the great and terrible day of the Lord. So, regardless of whether you believe that John was or wasn't, we do know that Elijah is going to come before the great and terrible day of the Lord. I believe that John the Baptist was the coming of Elijah because Jesus says so, and I believe what Jesus says. Um, so now we'll go back here to Matthew chapter 11, verse 15. He who has ears to hear, let him hear. That's what Jesus says. So if you're going to listen, listen. 
Okay. <clears throat> but to what shall I compare this generation? It is like children sitting in the marketplaces who call out to the other children and say, We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they said, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, Behold, a gluttonous man and a drunkard and a friend of tax collectors and sinners. Yet wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. I circle that. Wisdom, wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. So uh, if you want to appear wise, then act wise. You see what I mean? So wisdom is vindicated by her deeds. Then he began to denounce the cities in which most of his miracles were done because they did not repent. He, it's all part of God's plan. Woe to you, Chorazin. Woe to you, Bethsaida. For if the miracles had occurred in Tyre and Sidon, which occurred in you, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. Nevertheless, I say to you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon in the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will not be exalted to heaven, will you? You will descend to Hades. For if the miracles had occurred in Sodom, which occurred in you, it would have remained to this day. Nevertheless, I say to you that it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom in the day of judgment than for you. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for this way was pleasing in your sight. And so now I'm going to go ahead and uh, take us to uh, Psalm 19, verse 7. Okay, Psalm 19, verse 7. Handy dandy stickers. Love them. Uh, and that says, the whole thing says, uh, uh, um, the law of the Lord is perfect, restoring the soul. Semicolon. So the law of the Lord is perfect. If you fill yourself, if you fill yourself with the law of the Lord and do the law of the Lord, then you are going to restore your soul or it, restoring your soul by the law of the Lord restores your soul. Anyways, the testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. So I likened that myself to what it says in Matthew uh, chapter 11, verse 25, where he says that he has hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and has revealed them to infants to the simple, to the to, to those who are not complicated. Uh, and then I'm also going to take us to Luke chapter 10, verse 21, right here. And you'll see the reason why. At that very time, he rejoiced greatly in the Holy Spirit and said, I praise you, O Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and intelligent and have revealed them to infants. Yes, Father, for this way was well-pleasing in your sight. So that's two times that these things are said. But the reason why I took you to that is not because Jesus said it twice, but because Matthew says Jesus says it. That's one. And Luke says Jesus said it. That's two. So two people means that it's the truth. And that's according to the Bible. Two witnesses. All right, so... Uh, okay, 25. Okay, verse 27. All things have been handed over to me by my Father, and no one knows the Son except the Father, nor does anyone know the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wills to reveal him. No one comes to the Father except through me. No man cometh to the Father except through me. It's Jesus. We got to... Anyway, so verse 28. Come to me all who are weary and heavy laden, and I will give you rest. And that means, you know, your your spirit, your spirit, you know, uh, he's not going to reach down and lift up your load. He may, actually, but I think he's talking about our spirits and our hearts. Uh, verse 29, take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. Uh, I took the reference here where it says you will find rest for your souls. Uh, that's a reference to Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16, I think. Yeah, Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 16 says, 
Thus says the Lord, stand by the ways and see and ask for the ancient paths where the good way is and walk in it and you will find rest for your souls. So that's the key to it all right there. If you want to know the good way or know the way, go by the paths of the ancient ones, which means to look in here for the path of righteousness, how to do people right, how to be right with the world, how to be a better person. You know, it's, it's in here. But if you do these things, you will find rest for your souls. Here on this earth, you will find rest for your souls. I can't guarantee anything after. I believe that there's more. But here on this earth, I can't guarantee. If you do what you're supposed to do, you're going to have a lot more peace in your life. Um, so that was verse 29. And then verse 30, For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. And this is one of my favorite verses right here because it says, I think, not just that his burden is light, like to pick up, but his burden is also light, L-I-G-H, the light of God, the light of the Spirit. You see what I mean? The light of Jesus. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Okay. But uh, anyway, I'm going to take this reference here. It goes to 1 John chapter 5, verse 3. And 1 John chapter 5, verse 3 says, For this is the love of God, that we keep his commandments, and his commandments are not burdensome. burdensome. So this is what, this is the love of God. So if you love God, see where, man, see where this is the love of God. I love God. Then if you love God, then you keep his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome. So when you keep his commandments, you're not like, oh, oh, I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't. You see what I mean? It's not, it's not hard at all. You don't mind doing it because you know what you're going to get. And you know what he gives you. So that's what I have to read today from uh, uh, Matthew chapter 11. Uh, thanks for listening to me ramble on for a little while and, and uh, read. And uh, I'll talk to you again soon. God bless.